and I just simply carry them out to the curb. Billy Hickman has walked to this curb since the 1980s. I place them here, and I don't worry about it. From then on, it's taken care of. He says Broken Arrow's trash service is the best in the nation and is taking a stance as neighborhood leader against the change. He's even getting others on board. That neighbor there, this neighbor, this neighbor, and that neighbor. Right now, pickup is two days a week in these bags. The city pays up to $300,000 a year to buy them, but the proposed once a week pickup would be in these carts. Each cart costs about $42 for an upfront cost of $1.3 million. So I don't see how the city's saving any money. I don't see how the citizens are saving any money. I don't see that it's to anybody's advantage. Of the 13 Met centers in the, in the Met region, um, this is by far the busiest. Michael Patton says the change would take away his business, but he's in favor of it. I know it's hard to believe a businessman would say that, but, but really, we're getting so many water bottles, so many soap bottles, and if we had less of those, we could concentrate on other materials. Patton says out of the top 50 cities in the U.S., 46 have a cart-based service. Less worker injuries, it's safer, you'll have less blowing trash, uh, less dog problems. It'll actually be simpler. They'll actually be more efficient, be able to do it cheaper. Hickman doesn't agree. He says all of those reasons increase with a cart pickup. I think we need to watch and see how it all fleshes out in Tulsa for a couple of years.